I was born in the Royal Women's Hospital in Carlton on June 22nd of 1978. I'm one out of three brothers. I've been in Melbourne most of my life, but my father was in the Air Force. Then we first moved to Adelaide and we lived in Queensland for a while and then back to Melbourne in 1986. And I've been in Melbourne ever since. I didn't really like school when I was younger. Um, simple reason was I found it hard to concentrate. Um, I was in a special school and then I went into St Albans Heights Primary and then Laverton Gardens. I ended up getting school through a lot of help through teacher aids and for help me read and write. And then I went to TAFE. I did um, level three English and maths, which is equivalent to year 10. Just learned to read properly and write, that sort of thing. That was good. After learning to read and write, there's no, there's no stopping me anymore. Hi, I'm Brian Morley. I'm Purple Bat in Jiu Jitsu. I uh, with Jiu Jitsu, a friend who ran the AFC, which is the Australian Fighting Championships, um, went to one of the fights and met him there and he said, um, jump on the mat, get me your glasses. So I went on the mat, didn't know what I was doing. And then um, I loved it, then been doing it ever since. It's challenging, it's fun. It's enjoyable and it keeps you young too. The first time I was going to compete was at the Will Machado's comp, but I dislocated my thumb four days before. So then I waited for Pan Packs, did the um, 57 kilo division and got rear naked choked in the no gi, which I never heard of rear naked choke. Then in the no, in the in the gi, I got um, submitted by an armbar. I knew what that was, but at first I was nervous. Simple reason I thought I was too old because I was 33 years old at the time, and I thought I was too old. And a friend says, "No, you never, you're never too old." And I've taken it from there, and then never looked back. I've, I don't know how many exactly I've got in the medals, but they're quite a lot. Which I really, I really enjoy competing because all the people you get to meet. That's why I want to give out a message to everyone that you're never too old to do nothing. You're, you're only young as you feel. I got my blue belt in um, October 2013, just a few weeks um, before I lost my mum. So she was too she was too sick to actually go to degrading, but then mum seen all the photos, and it was and it was the happiest she was ever been for a long time. But she told me I was proud. She was proud of me, but she never knew I was doing the jutsu until she started seeing stuff on Facebook. But she was actually shocked and she, was, she said I used, well, came from an angry young person in my teenage years and for me being in my 30s, it really changed heaps. And it made me, it made me in a, into a better person and now I'm more better about myself, more relaxed, laid back, friendly. How you feeling, Brian? Yeah, good. <laughs> If my mum was alive now to see me get my approval about, she would have been so proud. At the end of the day, that's all she probably wanted for me to be happy. When she's happy, I was happy.